didn't see him in weeks, man. You're lying! I swear! I am who I am. You're joining us live here in Central Park. As John was saying, the mystery man has made a reappearance after having disappeared for nearly a month. This time rescuing a family from a car sinking in a lake. Yeah, he came from over here on the side. I saw him for a minute. You know, he had on a black kitty shirt. He was here a minute. Next thing you know, he turned around and he was just gone. I didn't ask for this. like demonic forces that were separating me from the reality of who God was and his love for me. Before I, I, I used to do drugs, I used to smoke weed and, and do all that stuff. Um, mine was seeking love through men and through sex and through alcohol, through weed, through, you know, ecstasy. I thought that could fill me. I was so hard because when I was a little girl, and this was something I wanted to do and now that I'm doing it, it's just kind of surreal, you know? Um, so there's actually been a few changes with your part. Um, we now have a little bit of nudity and a sex scene in the movie, and I wanted to see if that's something that you feel comfortable doing. Yeah, but you said you weren't you weren't going to strip anymore. You were at a bikini bar, and now you're at an all naked club. And for one, I don't give a what people think about me. People that believe that I'm gay and I'm not Christian, I really think that they need to really learn what God, who God is. It says in the Bible that God hates homosexuality. They're hypocrites. That act and that lust and that desire for another woman, if you're a woman, or another man, if you're a man, can be called anything but demonic. <laughs> 